On December 20th, 1983, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission issued Columbia a 40-year operating license. The original license had an end date of December 20th, 2023, today. And fortunately, and this was no small undertaking, Columbia was in fact granted a license extension. So tomorrow, Columbia will enter its period of extended operation, beginning the next 20 years of our operating license. As we enter into the next era, we are 40 years away from reaching our agency's strategic goal of operating Columbia Generating Station safely, reliably, and cost-effectively for at least a total 80-year lifetime. So let's have a look back at our first 40 years. Over the last 40 years, we've experienced highs and lows, record generation years, and extended outages. But what would it look like without this license extension? Well, Columbia would be offline. It'd be the loss of hundreds of jobs for our valuable employees. It would be a loss of affordable, reliable power for our members in the region. And it would be a loss for our community and the nuclear industry as a whole. But instead, we have the privilege and the responsibility to carry Columbia into its next era. An era that I hope we'll also see more generation records and a power up rate, a second 20 year license renewal so we can operate through 2063, and a series of small modular reactors on the land right next to Columbia. Just like the last 40 years, the next 20 are about the generations of workers who care about this plant. Those who've operated, fixed, protected, planned the work, and crunched the numbers. And we should all be thankful for our many team members who helped us succeed with getting our first license renewal and completing the follow-on inspections so that we can have this future. So in closing, thank you for your continued dedication to operating Columbia and providing our members in region with safe, reliable, cost-effective, and responsible power. So cheers to another 60 years.